uh, big hugs and kisses out there for you guys. Really, really, really. Uh, yeah, no sulfur. Yeah, you know what's interesting about that MSM and glucose and all that. Now, if you'll watch the watch commercials on TV, now they're coming out with skincare products, no sulfates. Uh, how interesting is that? You know, that's why I say I don't get into isolated chemistry and sulfur compounds. Bad news bears. If you uh, could sit here with me, you would see so many people fighting sulfur in the body, which is a fungal proliferant that always have major, major fungal problems, which leaves uric acid. You know, so a lot of people have gouty problems and RA, almost every RA case that's rheumatoid arthritis, almost every case of RA I've seen has high sulfur content in them. So, and it's a lymphatic suppressor and it gets in the gut wall. You feel like you got IBS, you feel like you've got acid reflux all the time. It's always burning, a lot of gas. So, uh, I, I don't recommend any isolates at all, really, but in particular any sulfur compounds, particularly pharmaceutical type sulfurs there. Cindy, uh, my time is about up here. I want to talk to you about what you said. I love your letter, honey. Uh, the the uh, I, I hope this is not too private, but uh, this is really needs to go on the spiritual side. You got some great spiritual questions, and I want to address. I will say this: you have to be the light. Uh, you you can't. You have to separate God from creation in a sense, uh, and and because creation is just the playground of the supreme being, and we have to separate the the playground is dark and, and, and light. You, you have the darkness and the evil as well as you have the light. And if you notice since consciousness is going up, so is the darkness if you will. So you have both of these things balance. And so that's why Buddha I think said follow the middle path, you know, don't be for or against, don't get in the light or the darkness, be the light. You know, and then wherever you walk, whatever plane you're on, wherever you are, you're the light. Uh, you're not looking to that source because if you look outside of yourself as the light, then you disempower yourself and you give whatever you're dealing with the power. And you are the power. And that's most important to understand there. I hope I didn't get too wacky on that. But uh, I really have to see a client here, and I, I really apologize. I wish I could make this longer. I really wanted to address the, the blood sugar problem, and I hope you get this today because you can't just stop your medications. High blood pressure would be another one that you, you know, you want to, you, you, can, you, can, you can use those as PRN, which is when needed. You, you can use these medications when you need them, particularly high blood pressure medications. Your statins and stuff, major money maker, big time problems, liver damages, you know, Lipitor is well known for that, Fosamax, all these, uh, these uh, uh, osteoporosis drugs. I mean, they keep putting these things out knowing that it's drying up people's bones. And I, I just can't believe that, that man could, can keep doing what he's doing there. Um, my time is, is really about up here. Oh, I did want to address one more thing, and I'll get to this tomorrow, I hope. And that's the lady that, that writes a lot about the gallbladder polyps. Honey, this is the lymph system in your gallbladder pushing through. They're like little tumors if you want to call them anything. And it could be the wall of your gallbladder is getting weak from oh, interstitial lymphatic constipation. This is all about your lymph system. And remember, when things are acidic, things become anionic, which means they dehydrate, coagulate, harden, and stone up. So to unstone is definitely a base or an alkaline experience. So you, you can take the liver formulas. Um, uh, you, you definitely want to get that lymphatic formula. Two kidneys, two lymphatics. I do the lymphatic one capsules, the stomach and bowel formula, hit the liver formula, and get a high up on that fruit berry and melon. You've got to move that lymph system. Could take you a while. You don't have to freak out because you're moving that lymph. Uh, the problem is, and this is true, if you can't get to that area, if you can't move that lymph through the bowel, through the liver, then those polyps can grow on you. But you're working on it and, and that's what's most important is and if you keep working diligently and you work hard then you'll save your gallbladder you know if you end up having to have surgery you have to have surgery but uh, if you get diligent and you get focused honey you'll win this and you'll be okay don't don't freak out and relax you'll be okay uh, you just got to get this lymph moving that's really important and it's not just for the gallbladder it's for the liver as well that baby's right in there and uh, you can't have a gallbladder in trouble without having a liver somewhat in trouble 
So you just got to move that lymph. That's all that is. It's like the colon polyps. That's just the lymph system, you know. You know, it's like selectites hanging down from the ceiling. So, but it's in the ceiling that's the problem. It's in the wall that's the problem there. So I love you guys. Sorry I had to make this quick, but uh, you have fun today, and we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Tomorrow, if I can, I'll, I'll get to the rest of these questions, and I do appreciate these questions. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll do my best to help all of you, okay? Bye-bye. Have fun today, guys. Bye-bye.